guys, welcome back. So today I am filming a what's in my kids Easter basket video. I'm really, really organized this year. I've got pretty much everything that I wanted to get to put in their Easter basket. The only thing I haven't got yet is the Easter eggs. I'm only going to put one in the basket for each child um, just because I don't like to give Owen a lot of chocolate because he's still only quite little. He's only one and a half and Taylor doesn't handle sugar very well. So she only really needs one or two eggs and then she'll be hyper. Um, I'm going to get her a couple of Kinder eggs because she really loves those. Um, and then we'll do an Easter egg hunt in the garden um, with some smaller eggs. So there is no eggs in this basket at the, at the moment, but there will be, you know, a couple of each thing. So I'm going to start with Taylor's stuff because her basket's super fun. <laughs> this is her basket. Um, it's not quite, you know, organized, like presented nicely yet, but I just threw everything in there just for the sake of the video. Um, the actual baskets that I've got that they're in, I got these last year from Woolworths. They're just like a, um, a metal, um, what's this called? Wire? What's it called? Like chicken wire. Um, style basket. It does have handles. So we use these when we go and do the Easter egg hunt as well. And I'll probably put a little bit of the, um, you know, the, the papery stuff in the bottom. I hope you know what I'm talking about because I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, so that will go in the bottom as well for the actual presentation of the Easter basket. Um, and everything in here was really affordable with the exception of the moccasins. They are overpriced, but I really loved them so I couldn't pass them up. And you have seen them before in a haul. Um, so yeah, I will just get into it. Um, I have seen similar baskets to this around in the shops this year as well. So I think Kmart had a few. Um, Target might have had a smaller version of it, and I haven't actually looked in Woolworths this year, so they might have them again. Um, I remember them coming out quite late in the season, like really close to Easter, so they might still be coming. Um, okay, so first off, I have this little pink crown for her. It's like a headband crown. Like, I'll show you. <laughs> That's like a little headband. Um, she really loves this style of tiara or crown or whatever you want to call it, headband. Um, she wears one to school all the time. She loves it. She hasn't got a pink one, so I thought I'd get her that. It was only $2 from Red Dot. Um, Red Dot, I, don't, I think it's actually a Western Australian brand, but Red Dot's like a discount store similar to the Reject Shop. Um, I don't know what the equivalent would be in the US, but it's just really, really, really really cheap stuff. Um, so that was $2. I got her one of these detangling brushes. She's already got a couple of hair brushes, um, but this one I thought would be really good for her as well, just because it's, you know, a detangling brush. Um, she does get knotty hair as it gets a little bit longer. So I grabbed her that. Um, this was from Audi. So I think it was only a few dollars as well. They, they're not on sale anymore, but you can obviously find these anywhere. Um, I got her that also from Audi. I got her this detangling spray because she did need a new one. She's run out. I think this one smells okay. Yeah, this one smells nice, like, you know, girly. So I grabbed her one of those to go with the brush. She will enjoy that. I got her from Kmart. I got her this Easter Bunny sticker and activity book. So I thought it was quite a nice one. It's got lots of colors and stickers. She really, really likes sticker books and it was only a couple of dollars. I'm pretty sure it was only like $2. Oh, I did have the receipt. I don't know. Pretty sure it was only $2 from Kmart. I really like that. She'll enjoy that. And then I got her a new... Um, pad of just plain paper so it's quite a large size it's probably it's a4 um again it was from kmart so it was only a couple of dollars probably three dollars she had an art book and she literally just used it up the last week so i thought i'd get her a new one so she can do lots more drawing and coloring and writing and all that kind of thing you have seen these in a previous haul that i did but these are the glitter moccasins what are they actually called the marley glitter moccasin from um from Cotton On Kids. They, I got them in the gold glitter. They had a multicolored glitter as well, which was really cute. Um, but I preferred the gold for Taylor. The glitter is really well stuck on. Like, I don't think it's gonna, like, even if I, it doesn't come off, which is really, really good. Cause after I bought these, I was like, was that really a good idea? I'm gonna be sweeping up glitter all winter. Um, but no, the glitter seems stuck on really, really well. So that's something to note. Um, the fur goes all the way into the boot. I mean, I've seen some slippers for kids that the fur is only like on the outside, whereas this stuff goes all the way into the toe um, and it's on the top as well. I got them in the size 13 to one because she's in a size 13 at the moment and I can only imagine her foot getting bigger. Um, and then they've got the cute little tie as well. So they're really, really sweet. They do have a hard sole as well, so she can walk around them and not, you know, get the slip over or if she walks outside to get the mail or something, they're not gonna get ruined. So really cute. They were $24.95, so they were the most extravagant thing that I've got in the basket both of them actually like Owen oh, stuff's all really cheap so, so yeah I hope oh he's a eight for that Kmart stuff so oh the up the so the plain paper book is five dollars and then the Easter sticker book was four dollars so a little bit more expensive than I thought but not too bad 
Um, I got her a little lip gloss from Target, so it's a little bunny. And then in the bottom, there's a little lid and the lip gloss is in there. So that's just something cute. She doesn't really wear lip gloss or anything yet, but I did think she would like it. Look how cute he is. Oh, adorable. Um, and then I both I got them both this little chicken from, I think this was from, this must have been from Red Dot as well. Just a little wind-up chicken just because they Oh, it doesn't even work. I guess it does. Just because they're cute. I really, really like them. Adorable. That was that. And then the pajamas I got her. I have, again, I've found this in a haul as well. But these are the pajamas. They're from Kmart. They've got a little, little white bunny on there with some pink pink accents and then the pants that go with it are a light blue with the same little bunny all over them are really really sweet they're cuffed at the bottom um just cotton pajamas i will get her some flannel pajamas as well probably in winter but i'll start with these ones anyway um, i think they are really cute and then i haven't taken out the packet because i just filmed a whole video with it um, but i've also got her a hot water bottle for the winter our Easter is right before winter starts here in australia or as winter is starting in australia so we always we're always getting them winter things for Easter. So pajamas, hot water bottles, that kind of thing. Um, all through my childhood, my parents got me and my sister um, pajamas. I think most, honestly, I think most families do pajamas as sort of a tradition here in Australia. Um, so yeah, we're carrying on that tradition. Basically, the kids always get pajamas for Easter. Okay, moving on to Owen's basket. His is not quite full. There's one more thing I want to get, but I wanted to keep it. I, I still haven't seen them anywhere, so I don't know if I'm going to end up getting them or not. Um, I want to get him a set of Taylor's first e or second Easter. She got these little um, Play-Doh eggs. They had Play-Doh inside the little like plastic eggs, which were really, really cute. I want to get him a set of them as well, if I can find them. But I haven't seen them in stores yet, so I don't know. I have to keep looking. But I did get him so far. Um, this from the $2 shop is just a little paint set. So a um, paint pot set, which there's three there. So you can dip your brush in there and keep the paint all well and good. Um, I've just set up an easel for him outside. So I wanted to get some poster paints to put in these so he can start painting and that kind of thing, which is always fun. I got him a little packet of these yogurt strawberry buttons, he, the strawberry yogurt buttons. He loves these things. He never gets them. So these are like his special treat. He got them for, he got them for Christmas. He ate like the whole thing in one sitting. He loves them. Um, so yeah, I got him those from Rafferty's Garden. I got him a couple of little board books. He loves just looking through books. I got him this animals one and this alphabet one. So he likes to go through and sort of look at all the pictures and sort of identify them. Make the noises that they make and that kind of thing. These are really sweet. They were from Kmart. They were just $2 each. So they were really, really good. I grabbed these from Aldi. These are some bath time stickers. So these are like the foam stickers that you can, when you get them wet, you can stick them onto like the glass or to the tile and that kind of thing. Um, so I thought they were really, really cool for bath time. It's just a set that is a transport set. So you get cars and like street signs and things like that, which he will love playing with those in the bath or shower. I also got him a new set of bath toys. They're just Four little dolphins. Yeah, four little dolphins. I thought they were quite cute. He will enjoy them. Um, I like to sort of rotate his bath toys quite often because they get the mold inside them. Um, so yeah, I like to, like I say, every few months get new ones. So I grabbed him these little dolphins. He'll like them. And then he got the little chicken as well, so they can play with those. They're really cute. And his pajamas that he's getting are these ones from Target. They have a little bunny on the front, a little bunny face on the front rather and little flannelette pajamas with the bunny face all over them as well. Um, so like I said, I'm also gonna get, get him the, the Play-Doh eggs if I can. If I can't find the eggs, I'll find something else Play-Doh that sort of will go in there, like a smaller, a small little set of Play-Doh because he's still getting the hang of Play-Doh. He kind of doesn't really get it, but he's getting there. So I thought I would get him something like that as well. So I'll keep an eye out for that. And then again, like I say, they both need a couple of eggs in their baskets as well. So yeah, that is everything that is in my kids' Easter baskets. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time. Bye.